Number 94. Calculate the pH at the following points in a titration of 40 mils or 0 0.040 liters of a 0 0.100 molar barbituric acid. And they give us the Ka uh, equal to 9.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. And we're titrating that with 0 0.100 molar of potassium hydroxide, which is KOH. And in this case, in letter B, we are adding 20 mils of the KOH to the solution. Okay, so since we're adding KOH, we're doing the titration. So KOH should be standing out to you, right? KOH is on your list of the six strong bases. This acid, however, that they're discussing about this barbituric acid, right? That's not on my list of six. So this would be a weak acid. And whenever you're seeing weak things interacting with strong things, ooh, did I say strong acid? That's a strong base. Did anybody catch that? Hopefully. Maybe you were screaming at the screaming at the laptop or the cell phone or the computer, but I got you guys. Anyway. So this is exactly what a titration is, is when you have either a weak acid or a weak base counteracting with a strong acid or a strong base. So when this happens, the easiest way to do these is to not set up a balanced equation. It's to set up a little chart. It just makes life easier. Now in this case, when you can notice that there's going to be a uh, titration, uh, maybe I'll put it on this side of the equation. Oh, we need... There we go. You do a three-tier. That's all you need. Nothing more fancy than this. Now, the rules is as follows. In order to make this pretty easy, the middle section, you see how this is set up into three sections. The middle section is always your strong acid or strong base. So in this case, the strong base is the KOH. And base for blue. And I'm just going to say that, you know, this is the strong base. So I'll say SB. Now, the other components is your buffer system that you might uh, form during this battle between strong base and weak acid. Now, they didn't tell specifically what barbituric acid looks like. I don't even know if I'm saying it correctly. Barbit barbituric. Bar barbituric. Barbecue acid. <laughs> I don't know. We're just going to call this a general HA, right? Usually acids, they have the acidic hydrogen in the front, and then A stands for acid. Now, it does not matter whether I put the barbituric acid on the left or the right side, right? That doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that that strong guy goes in the middle. So I'm just going to put the HA on this side, and I'll say that this is the buffer acid, so buffer A, and... If we're making a buffer system, we have to have the conjugate. So you have to have the corresponding buffer base, so buffer B. And remember, in order to make a base, you just strip away the hydrogen. So this would best be like A minus. Once again, it does not matter what denotions that you make. You know, you could have just said that this was H2A. I don't care. Whatever. You could have put some carbons. You could have actually looked up what this looks like. Doesn't matter. I'm just trying to make it easy for you guys. We'll just use ha, H-A. Okay, we're almost there. The next step is, is just to know that if you're doing this little battlefield chart, only moles are allowed. No molarity. Because when you're doing limiting reagent problems, which is essentially what this is, you could only add or subtract moles. Right? It's a mole ratio, not a gram ratio or a molarity ratio. It's always moles. So we have to turn all the molarity values that we have into mole values. Doesn't matter which one you start with, right? I guess let's start with this barbituric acid. Now they did state that I had a molarity, a 0.1 molar solution of that, and it was in 40 mils, which is 0 0.04 liters. So if I run through the molarity formulas that I know, the standard one is molarity equals moles divided by liters. And only moles are allowed. So I can solve for the moles because I have the molarity and the liters. So if I just rearrange this formula, and you don't have to rearrange it, it's just easier for the video, moles equals molarity times the liters. So if I want to solve for those moles of the acid, I'm going to take the molarity that they gave me, 0 0.100, 
and I'm going to multiply it by the liters. And the liters they gave us, we don't even have to convert, 0 0.40. So the moles of the barbituric acid, aka HA, is 0.1 times 0 0.04. So 0 0.004 moles. And this number goes to the top of the acid component. So I have one number. I'm going to put it in for red because we're going to see that we're going to use the colors to our advantage in a little bit. So 0 0.004. I don't have to write the unit moles because I know that it's already in the correct units. Now, let's see. They gave us information about the KOH. They said that this was also 0.1 molarity and I'm using 20 mils. So let's do it for the uh, KOH. I'm just going to move this over a little bit. Same formula because they gave us molarity and mils, right? So moles equal molarity times liters. So I'll do blue for this side. So the amount of moles equals the molarity 0 0.100 and I'm going to times it by the volume here, but I have to convert this into liters. But converting it into liters is easy. All we have to do is just divide by 1,000. So this would be the same as 0 0.020 liters, right? I could just take the decimal and move it three times to the left as well. So 0 0.020, sure. Okay, and then the moles of the KOH equals uh, 0 0.002 moles. And since that's a base, I'm going to put it right here, 0 0.002. Now, if I'm looking at here, they don't state anything that has to do with the buffer base, right? So since we don't have any, I have to say that I didn't start off with any. So I'm just going to put a zero here. Okay. Now here comes the, the fun part. This is where the action takes place in which the buffer system will be created. And we're going to try to get rid of that strong base. So what you're going to do is you're always going to subtract the middle number. Because that's the idea of a buffer. You want these to pick up the mess so that there's no more strong base left. Hopefully not, fingers crossed. And whatever number that you put here is the same number that goes on both sides. But now we just have to figure out, well, what's happening between these two numbers? Are they added together or are they gonna be subtracted? The same thing for this. Well, let's do it in terms of, you know, the blues, right? If you're starting off with no base, and you're, you know, raising the base up because you just added a strong base. These colors are the same, so this would be additive. However, on the battlefield between acid, red, and base, blue, they're going to be fighting. And the bigger number is the one that remains. So in this case, this would be subtraction. The acid is more than the base. And if we do subtract them you will get out 0 0.002 left over. This, thankfully, there's no more of this because it's zero, right? And then over here, you do have 0 0.002 of this. Now, since you have numbers for both your buffer acid and your buffer base, we can now use the Henderson-Hasselbeck equation. You can only use the Henderson-Hasselbeck if you have both numbers of the acid and the base. So let's go for it. The equation is this one right here. pH equals pKa plus the log of the base divided by the acid. We just found out what the numbers for the base and the acid are. They're the same. The base number is 0 0.02 and the acid number is 0 0.002. Just know that in this formula, you can use molarity or you could use moles. I like to just use moles because why do an extra step when you don't have to, right? Now, the next thing 
is that we just got to figure out that pKa because we want to find out what that pH is. That's what the question was asking. Well, remember, pKa just equals the negative log of the Ka, right? So that's a formula that we've been seeing throughout this chapter. And thankfully, they gave us the Ka value, right? They gave us 9.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. So if I just wanted to find that pKa, all I would have to do is just take the negative log of the 9.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. And let's see what that pKa is. Maybe I could put it down here. pKa equals, let's see, negative log of 9.8 times 10 to the negative fifth. And I get 4.00. .00 I guess we'll say nine. And that's the number that goes here. Now I have everything to solve for the pH. So pH equals 4.009 plus the log of the base, which is 0 0.002 divided by the acid, which is 0 0.002. And now you can plug this all into the, uh, the calculator. Just know that if you have a log of the same number on the top and the bottom, they cancel because the log of one equals zero. But we could just plug it in and we would get 4.009. Maybe if you want to say 4.01, be my guess. That's fine with me. I'll just keep it like this. And that is your final answer. And if we just went back to letter A, I think this pH was a 2, 2 point something. So the pH is rising. That's a good thing because we're adding base. The pH should rise. And if you keep adding more and more and more base, it will rise even more. So... Hopefully this makes sense. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. There is letter C coming up. So if you guys are on the playlist, hang tight. We'll do that in a little bit. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.